Oh, what is up team DDPYoga.com? It is me, it is me, it is Michael D. Mullins and welcome to my kitchen cam. Um, today, I don't do this often because I know it isn't great for you, but I'm giving myself a treat today and I'm making some gluten-free waffles. Um, the, the brand I'm using, I'm just using a regular mix, but I'm going to bring you guys through and show you how easy this is because, you know, you could make the frozen ones, but why would you do that when you can make, like, real, like, waffles in just about the same amount of time? So, I'm using the Pamela's, uh, pancake mix, which, uh, is the same recipe for waffles, uh, except you add an extra egg for the waffles. Um, Pamela's can be found at a lot of different stores. I know Namaste has a good, uh, waffle mix, too. And there's all kinds of good ones. Um, but pretty much, this is what we're doing. Um, we are going to first add one cup of the gluten-free pancake mix, which I have already pre-measured. Um, you're going to put that in your bowl, like so. And then you're going to add three quarters of a cup of water, like so. Uh, you're going to do one tablespoon of oil. I use a uh, peanut oil because I read somewhere that that's a lot less uh, in fat and calories and stuff like that as uh, like other oils. So I use peanut oil. So I put in the one tablespoon of peanut oil. Um, then we're going to do two eggs in our waffle mix. I've got the waffle iron heating while I do this because seriously this takes like four seconds. You'll be shocked to see how like little time this takes to have like a big breakfast and a, not one of those frozen just bleh kind of waffles. Um, so the eggs are in. I'm going to grab a beater and you pretty much just mix all of this together. Beat it pretty damn good until it's uh, like a pasty kind of consistency. I'll show you this how it's going to look in just a second. So you don't even have to beat it that long. It comes together really quickly. And like I said, my waffle iron is um, heating as we speak. So this is pretty much the consistency I need. So this is pretty much what we're looking at for consistency right here. This is our waffle mix. And then all we have to do is bring it over to said waffle iron which has been heating and you pour it evenly throughout the waffle iron got a little bit of overage that's what we're looking at close the waffle iron, it's kind of like an old school waffle iron I kind of inherited it when my parents uh, re, uh, re uh, did their kitchen appliances so I took this over but as you can see it can get a little messy you don't want to you don't want to make too much of a mess but that is pretty much how simple this is. Um, we've mixed it all together in that short amount of time. We're at 3 minutes and 24 seconds into this video. And you leave this. Uh, I'm not sure how long you leave it for. You pretty much just check it and see how long it needs to go for. I mean, it goes pretty quick. As you can see, it's already starting to firm up quite a bit. So I'm going to leave that just for a little bit longer. And, um, um... Yeah, I made a mess. I made a pretty good mess. You want to be careful how much you put in the waffle iron. And these mixes, seriously, are like so easy to find. They're all over the place. And I'm just going to leave my waffle in a little bit longer. But it's so much better to have a fresh waffle. If you're going to indulge and go a little overboard and uh, and have a good meal, like you know, a good like expensive meal calories and carbs wise, you might as well go for the real deal, man. So I think my waffle is pretty much good. I forgot to spray it with Pam, so it may be a little hard to get out here. Get fork. Okay, I'm just going to let that sit for a couple more seconds. And uh, look how beautiful this waffle is coming out. Yeah, that's going to be good. And they have a lot of great gluten-free syrups too um, that are sugar-free and gluten-free, all that stuff. 
Um, they have all kinds of different health options now for syrups. But I'm just going to pull this up. I'm going to drop you for a second, okay? So my waffle is done. You can make these as thick or as thin as you want. But this is the consistency for my waffle right here. Looks beautiful. I lost a piece when I was taken out. But that's just me. I wanted to show you how easy and how quick this is. And you don't want to do this all the time because waffles aren't the ideal breakfast to start your day. But when you're going to indulge, might as well do the real thing and do a real kick-ass gluten-free waffle. Hope you guys are well. Just a little video to say hey. Be cool.